Hi friends, today I will show you how to draw the impressions of both and right and left lung kidneys. This is the inferior vena cava with its both right and left renal veins, and this is the aorta with its renal arteries. Through the hilum, these vessels will enter into the kidneys. This is the ureter, renal pelvis, downwards it continues as the ureter. That is the right kidney. Now we will see the impressions on the right kidney, that is clinic area and this is the first part of the urinum. This is the hepatic lecture of colon with its jejunum and hepatic areas. Suprarenal area, splenic area, gastric area. Pancreatic area, splenic lecture of colon with its jejunal area. This anterior surface is irregular by the presence of lobulations compared to the posterior surface, which was flat. And the upper pole of both kidneys is broad, gives an attachment to the supralinear gland. On its medial border, above. Above the upper, uh, above, 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 we'll see the attachment of suprarenal gland. Below, it gives attachment to the hilum on its medial border. So now I am coloring both on right and left kidneys. This is this part of left kidney is jejunal, jejunal area. This pink colored part is jejunal area. It gives relation to the jejunum. And topmost part is the suprarenal area. Here also in right kidney, the pink part is degenerate. In left kidney, this is the splenic area. This is the hepatic flexure of colon. Splenic flexure of colon. And this is the area related to liver, right side. This is the area, gastric area, in left side. And this is the pancreatic area. This upper expanded part of ureters is known as the renal pelvis. This is the medial border. Both the medial border gives attachment to the suprarenal gland. And below it gives attachment continuous as the ureter. In this upper mode, Upper poles are comparatively near to the medial plane and lower poles are directed, directed downwards and laterally. This upper pole will give attachment to the suprarenal gland. These are IVs and IOTA. That is clinic area, pancreatic area. This is the suprarenal gland, the suprarenal gland attachments. Area for left supranormal gland, splenic flexure of colon, jejunum area, elastic area. Supranormal area, hepatic area. This is the diurnum area. In this right side, hepatic area and this colic area, both are covered by the peritoneum. There is a renal artery and renal veins. In this diagram, I am showing posterior surface relations of the right kidney. This is the medial border with its upper and lower poles and this is the lateral border. This is the medial and lateral arcuate ligaments and these are the attachments used to the muscles and this is the 12th rib with the diaphragm. These are the subcostal vessels and nerves. 
Will you have progastric nerve and ilia inguinal nerve? This is the area related to the diaphragm. This is the impression for 12th grip for the right kidney, whereas the left kidney, 11th and 12th grip, these are the subcostal vessels and nerves. This is the ilia hypogastric nerve. This is the ilia inguinal nerve. This is the transverse abdominis muscle. There are three muscles which form the posterior abdominal wall, so as measured, and quadratus lumborum. This is the urethra. Thank you.